by manipulating whether it was the post-it notes and the transparencies or the blocks, they were able to say, well, this is the connection that I see here and I can isolate that and look at that further or I'm missing something here with this conclusion and I need to fill in this gap. Using the think blocks kept the students on task, it kept them on, it kept them focused. They were able to hone in on each individual aspect and then bring it together and then change what we were actually looking at and move pieces around and say, okay, well, let's look at it from this way and then let's look at it from this direction. They took it several steps further than they have in just a traditional, okay, let's sit down and talk with the teacher lesson. They were constantly in their minds thinking to the next step of where can I make another connection. Next year when I start, I'm going to start day one with this project and do these hands-on lessons with the kids at the very beginning and then have checkpoints coming back to what we've started and figuring out what needs to change or what holes need to be filled in and do it a lot more systematically throughout the whole school year rather than saying, okay, it's going to wait till SOLs are over because it doesn't happen when SOLs are over. It has to be done from the beginning of the school year in little small increments. With the patterns of thinking and the think blocks, I want to start beginning of the school year, introduce the concepts to my kids and use it not just in social studies with the Global Awareness Project, but use it with science concepts, use it in everything that I teach because these are, once the kids lay the foundation of thinking like this and using these concepts, they're going to be able to make the connections in all subject areas. I was surprised at the types of connections the students were able to make, whether small connections to large connections that went so much further beyond their actual project that they were doing. It was neat to see how each group came up with different conclusions that I wouldn't have expected. I don't think they expected the conclusions. I think the Global Awareness Technology Project is valuable for the students because it opens their eyes to the fact that they're not just in their community, there's a world outside of them that influences everything that we as Americans do on a daily basis. And it helps them to realize where we got all of the ideas and the founding beliefs for our country and how we've grown. And I think it's, it's exciting to see the kids start to realize that there's a lot more to history than a textbook.